Paso Aquarius. Enjoy these nails. You'll never see them again. Uh, I've already lost one, the middle. I don't care enough about these nails to replace it, so I threw the replacement nails in the trash. These are too long. I can't with these. So after I do this reading, I might do one more. Um, what I've been doing lately, I like to do the modalities as a group. So I did Leo yesterday. I just did Scorpio. So Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, the fixed modality. I might be really ambitious and do Aquarius and then Taurus and then these are coming off. And uh, I can do dishes. I like to do dishes in the natural light. It's not as depressing. I've got the natural light flooding in. Yeah, six cards for Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. This is the Pulp Tarot. You can hear the Aquarius wind chimes, maybe. Mother's Day gift from the Leo X. Six cards for Aquarius. Magician. Six of Cups. I love that card. Reminds me of little golden books. The vintage little golden books from the 50s. Death. Are you five of swords? I damn sure am. Five of Swords. So we've got Mercury in the first row of the Magician. That's Gemini. Five is Mercury, which rolls Gemini and Virgo. And then the Three of Wands. Three is Sagittarius. In the system that I use, there are different systems. I use the system detailed in Linda Goodman's Star Signs, a book I've been referencing since the 80s when I was a teenager. Two of Pentacles, two is Cancer, the moon. Okay, it's like I was saying for Scorpio, it's best, I found, I think, my opinion, it's best to just stick to one narrative and not throw out all these possibilities. Yes, I can see numerous possibilities just from these six cards. But the narrative I'm going to go with is this. Goes without saying, but I say it, I remind often. Um, this is not a personal reading. I'm reading for an audience, a global audience, such as it is. The numbers aren't the best at this channel, but I'm reading for a global collective. So it's not gonna resonate with everyone who watches. That's why I call out the luminaries, the sun, the moon, the rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. I watch, I found that um, I get the most value, I get the most benefit from watching, not for my Aquarius Sun or Venus, because the Aquarius readings that I see at other channels, they rarely resonate with me. I usually find value and resonance in Capricorn, my Mars and Capricorn, and my stuff in Virgo, my Virgo rising Virgo moon. So just, you know, watch all the videos of this channel, please. Let's get the views up, get us up to a thousand subscribers. This is what I'm seeing for Aquarius. It'll resonate with at least one person, maybe. Um, you're not currently in a relationship. You might be in a connection but I'm not seeing a relationship, but I really feel like you're feeling nostalgia. Nostalgia for an ex, someone that things didn't work out with. Uh, you're missing this person and you do have some optimism. The two of you will reconnect eventually. I'm seeing a definite ending, 
but there's optimism with Sagittarius with the three, Jupiter. And you feel connected. You feel super connected, even if you've not spoken in months, years in some cases. Uh, you probably see this person in dreams. You probably feel an energetic attachment. You may regard this person as a soulmate, maybe a twin flame. And there's some level of dissatisfaction. It's mixed because you're optimistic the two of you will talk again. You will reconcile. You will reunite. But also, it's like this person's crowding your head. It's like you can't really feel easy and good and gratified in your life because you may see this person as the missing puzzle piece. If only we could get back together, things would be beautiful and wonderful. And, you know, it'll be different this time. It'll be better. Maybe you've had a lot of time to evaluate what went wrong and you've been working on yourself. Please provide an energetic summation for Aquarius, three additional cards. Yeah, that's the Eight of Wands. And for some of you, um, this pain, this discomfort, missing this person, it's feeding your creative process. This could be a muse. You see this person as a muse. So you could be creating a lot of art. You could be writing. You could be composing music, maybe. The world, the fixed modality. Yeah. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Uh, maybe you have a conjunction in one of the fixed signs. You could have a big deal conjunction like the luminaries, the personal planets, Venus conjunct Mars, Sun conjunct Moon, some damn thing. Will, uh, Fortune, Sagittarius. This could be an on-again, off-again connection. You've had a few cycles of this person and you want a new cycle. They could have Sagittarius in their chart. And Gemini. We have the magic. <laughs> we have the Gemini-Sagittarius axis. Okay. So, again, even if you've not talked to this person in quite some time, in some way, this connection is energizing you this person could be a muse um, and you're writing and you're thinking, you know, eventually when the time is right, we are going to talk again. So that's what I see for Aquarius. So that does not resonate at all. Check your other placements. Um, when I finally get to a thousand subscribers at this channel, I'm going to buy a cake and share it with my Scorpio son and his Leo dad, my ex. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.